with Tracy's top 10 favorite Stampin' product must-haves. And this is product number nine, which is our watercolor tools. I love our watercolor tools. So before I came on here, I pre-stamped this, these two flowers from our hand penned petals stamp set. And I use those with our stays on ink. So anytime you're watercoloring, you wanna use our stays on ink so that the black doesn't bleed when you use your watercoloring. So um, I also used our watercolor paper, our Fluid 100 watercolor paper to stamp my images on. So our watercolor tools. So there's two of my favorite ways that we can watercolor with Stampin' Up. And so the first way is using our water painter pens. And so I'm gonna show you how to do this. And I love doing this with our ink pads. So today I'm using Garden Green and Blushing Bride with a little bit of So Saffron. And so I have opened my ink pad here got it open like this and stamped it right onto my acrylic blocks here. So you can see those colors. And so I'm just gonna take my water painter pen. You actually unscrew the back here and fill it with water. So I call this mess-free watercolor. And so I just go ahead and put a little bit of water here in the middle. And we're just gonna grab a little bit of our Blushing Bride here. And in our flowers, we're just gonna easily here water paint some color. And it's okay to leave a little bit of white. You know, it's watercolor, so it's not supposed to be totally perfect. If you want them a little lighter, we just add a little bit more water. Just like so. See how fast and easy this is? And then if we want to change colors, we just squeeze it off here, dip into our garden green. We can go here into our leaves. If you get a little boo-boo, it's okay. When we fussy cut this, that will come right off. If you want a little darker, kind of like in the accents here, you can just go right in and do that. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, and then if we want to take our So Saffron yellow here, we can do the, the middles. See how easy that is? So that is such a pretty image. And I love in our catalog, if you look up in our catalog and you find the hand pin petals set, right next to it, there's all kinds of great inspiration ideas on that stamp set and how you can watercolor those flowers, what colors go well with it and how they the designers put that together. I think our catalog is so great for those fun inspirations. Okay, and then I stamped the other image here, and we are gonna use our watercolor pencils. So I love how easy Stampin' Up! makes watercoloring because it can be a bit intimidating. So we're just gonna take our same colors here, but in the pencils. And I just kinda like to trace the areas that I'm in a watercolor. And anywhere that I'd want like extra color here in the accents. Right? And so then we're just gonna take our same water pen, painter pen here and look how easy this is. Voila, we have this beautiful watercolor image. So it just kind of takes those pencil lines and softens them up into this 
fun watercolor effect. And then we'll do the same thing here with our flowers. And I love how you don't even really have to be perfect with this. You just can kind of get some color there. And then the water painter will just kind of soften. Let's do this other guy in yellow here. Just so you can see the difference. And even if you don't do all of the lines, it's okay. Because you have some color there. So then if we get our water painter again, and look at this, look how easy this is. Just ch -ch 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 -ch. What a beautiful flower, right? Okay, and then a little bit more. And you just squeeze and that's what gets our little bit more water out here. And there you go. And if you are like, oh, I should have put a little more here. This needs a little more color there. You can always go back with your pencils or your ink back into our image and add just a little more color if you need it. So this is product number nine, our watercoloring tools. Stampin' Up! makes it so easy peasy for us to watercolor.